coming up in this next video is going to be some piston work that I've done, including a light switch, uh, repeating bridges, and a really big sign. <laughs> so if you're interested in what I've done so far, go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. What's happening everybody? Pure Salvation here, and yes, it's Minecraft. And, you know, a lot of people were nervous that my last episode pretty much meant that I'm done with Minecraft. I'm never going to record a commentary, which is completely false. And actually, it's, this is the, it, it was just to end that series so I could start a new one. And this episode is going to be talking about all these uh, cool contraptions that people have helped me come up with. And... They all involve pistons, and you know, I've been doing a lot of piston research, or trying to do more just trial and error, seeing what I come up with. So, let's go ahead and uh, start off with this right here. So, let's actually get rid of these redstone torches, because they're useless. I just did it for the lighting. Very easy way is to use a light switch method, if you want to, you know, make a dark room or a light room. Just, you know, all you gotta do is, uh... Well, let me just demonstrate what it does <laughs> as you can see you know the block comes over blocks the light stone and then I lift the lever up again and it pushes it back so the purpose of this is you can you know you can have a really large area and have a little lever turn all the lights off or block all the lights and then you know have a bunch of mobs spawn in and then turn the lever back on and then you know you can you know I don't know have a battle arena or it's a good way to farm mobs, if you were wondering if there's... Actually, here, let me quickly show you guys the, the wiring of the redstone. It's real simple. Oh, crud, I don't have a pick. Huh. Anyways, all it does is that it just wires through the wall up into a sticky piston right behind that block right there. And that just pushes it in and out. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So this one is a little bit more tricky. You might be thinking, ooh, this looks pretty complex. And then others might be saying, oh, this is simple, I already know exactly what it does. Well, this is pretty complex for me. That's how bad I am with redstone. And before I go ahead and can sh show you guys what this is, I have to say, shout out to Van22, Eagles22, I know everybody has 22 in the name, <laughs> DJ Bedick and Golden Dan. Those guys really helped me out in these past few uh, days trying to teach me redstone stuff and cool tricks with pistons you know that's really helped me a lot so big shout out to you guys and an unbelievably huge shout out to venom strike for literally <laughs> having so much patience with me when you know he was pretty much my redstone guy he uh he did all the redstone for me from some of the big projects that i've been doing so huge shout out to him and also same to golden dan he actually created the next contraption I'm going to show you guys. But anyways, this contraption is more of a timer method where instead of using a five clock or whatever those clocks are, I decided to create my own repeater or a looping thing. So what you do is you just turn on this and let's show you what it does. So now this is timed and I got to see if I can get across and I can't. And if you fall, you get hurt. <laughs> But yes, it's possible to get across, so I'll actually show you right now. Yep, see? Easy. Alright, not that bad. Now, in order to turn it off, you can't... You cannot hit this button to turn it off. That'll just keep cycling the redstone. The only way to turn it off is to hit this lever. So if you make it on the other side, you just hit that, and then boom. No more lag. So what I've learned, and this was a big discovery by Van22, or... I'm sure somebody else... I don't know. I'm sure more people know about it, but he was the one who told me, is if you have a redstone repeater going into a block and a redstone repeater on the other side, then the current flows through the block. However, if you only have just redstone, let's say, oops, uh, that won't work. But let's just say it was redstone leading into this block and not a repeater, the block or the, the current will not flow through the block, and that's what I've learned. So that's really neat. And, you know, of course, I have the delay so you can have the looping effect. Pretty much what this loop looks like is this. That's what it looks like right here. If you want to recreate it for yourself. That's what it looks like. 
You definitely need delay. If you don't have delay, then, you know, it won't work. But yeah. That's the second contraption that this one I think is pretty cool. And, you know, hey, you can make an adventure map using this technique. Which is very cool. But anyways, let's move on to the next one. So we have arrived at the last contraption that was made. And this one... It, it wasn't made by me, it was made by a good fellow named Golden Dan. Real nice guy, uh, I can't believe he actually built this whole thing for me. I just built the glass exterior and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> he did the rest. So, what do you see here? You see a flowing waterfall. Well, let me hit this lever and... Yep, I'm just not gonna turn around yet. I'm going to slowly but surely make my way across this come on oh no it's turning night oops I'll just set day there we go alright yeah I'm on a multiplayer server right now this is how I'm able to communicate with some people alright now let's look yeah that's awesome right you've got the whole pure salvation just bulging out oh I love it this is definitely like pretty epic I'm not gonna lie this is it took a while to uh, c come up with an idea but I mean it's actually a pretty simple concept and we just took it to the next step now of course I actually had to place manual water blocks in some areas because once the sign comes out and pushes the water, water will disappear here, here, all the little th spots that are blocked off here. So you actually have to place manual spots in these little holes like right here, and the P, and the A, and the O, and such and such, and in the end. So other than that, you know, I think it looked pretty good. And unfortunately, we had to put the glass here, so you could actually see the pure salvation without the water actually flowing over the block and just becoming a big mess it took a lot of trial to finally figure out how this would work but yeah now it works and it's so cool <laughs> what does this have to do with anything its usefulness uh, or effectiveness it's pretty much nothing <laughs> it's just for looks pretty much so yeah I think that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's a real quick one I just wanted to get this video out to show you guys that I'm not done with Minecraft I'm definitely not done with Minecraft and uh, for those of you who thought I am I'm not <laughs> so yeah you can always uh, keep up with the latest things on my Twitter that'll let you know if I decide to uh, maybe ask for your opinion on something or uh, ask for some help yeah or uh, just news if you want to know when the next video might or might not be coming. Yeah. Other than that, I guess that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, take care.